For the first time in his time at Missouri, Gary Pinkle put a true freshman out there at quarterback. With Matty Mock serving a suspension, Drew Locke took over the Tiger offense. He didn't put up flashy numbers against South Carolina, but Locke delivered where it mattered most, in the win column. Mizzou coming off that loss against Kentucky last week. Bouncing back against the Gamecocks, another great effort by the Missouri defense. Walter Brady had a couple of sacks early on, takes down the Carolina quarterback. Fans were fired up. Tigers would get into the end zone on their second possession of the game. Drew Locke, one of his two touchdown passes to Nate Brown. This one covered eight yards. It was 7-0 Missouri. Much better effort by the running game today. Ish Witter nearly hit 100 yards on the day. Ended up with 98. This 17-yard run would set up an Andrew Baggett field goal late in the first half. Lorenzo Nunez, the quarterback, looks like that's an incompletion on third down. But watch the QB on the replay hit by Terry Beckner. Targeting called, so Beckner was thrown out of the game. The drive continued for Carolina and Nunez. Look at this crazy pass, just throws it up. Arion Petten gets his hands on it. But it deflects right to South Carolina. Sean Carson, the touchdown tied it up at 10 apiece. Missouri immediately responded, though, an 11 play, 65 yard drive. Lock to Brown, 17 10 Mizzou. That was the score at the half. The Tiger defense picked off Carolina's Nunez three times in the third quarter. Ian Simon comes up with that one at the two yard line, stopping the Carolina drive later in the quarter. It's Walter Brady coming up with another big play. This one taken back to the South Carolina 31 yard line. That would lead to points for Missouri ish Witter on third down and goal from the one. He goes in 24 10 and again that was the final Missouri 4 and 1. Rod Smith has more from Faro. A good start to October here at the zoo or Locktober as Tiger fans are calling it now. Drew Locke played well in his collegiate debut as a starting quarterback. It was the first time since Gary Pinkle has been around football in 39 years that he started a true freshman quarterback. And as Locke told us after the game just four or five months ago, he was at prom back at Lee Summit, now playing in front of 66,000, leading his team to victory in the SEC. Locke's numbers, 21 out of 28 passing, 136 yards. It's only about five yards per pass attempt but the two touchdowns and zero interceptions he completed 75 percent of his passes they kept things pretty simple for Mizzou exceeded any expectations I had you know growing up you know you, Steve Spurrier South Carolina the Gamecocks and whatnot it's just kind of crazy to sit back and think like hey we beat those guys today and I was the quarterback for that team that beat them Drew I thought really did some good things for a young player I mean gosh and we know again we were a little conservative in the second half of them and with some of the field position we had and you know trying to get our running game going and everything's so like that so but I, th I thought he really carried himself well and, and um, you know I thought that was good and I don't ever evaluate uh, personnel after after a, a game I'm not gonna do that now after the game Pickle said he was proud of Locke as they embraced at midfield but he certainly wouldn't tell anybody that he had made any decision about quarterback for next week Missouri now one and one in SEC play they're back here at Faro Field to take on Florida a much bigger challenge with the Gator defense next Saturday night here in Columbia. With the Tigers, Rod Smith, KRCG Sports. High school football at Adkins Stadium. Final regular season home game for Helias. The Crusaders welcoming Rockbridge. Low scoring game. First half, Helias up 10 zip. How about some defense? Dalton Weaver with the interception at the 10 yard line. That stops the Rockbridge drive. The Bruins would come through though late in the opening half. Nick Collins, the talented running back, breaks free 62 yard touchdown run. Bruins pull within a field goal. It's 10 7 at the half. Too many mistakes for the Rockbridge offense though. Fourth down, they fumble the ball. Down goes the quarterback. Crusaders win it. Not a lot of points. It's a victory though for Tim Rulo and Helias. 10 7. Second victory for the Crusaders this season. There were plenty of points for Tolton today. They scored 93 of them in a football game. 93-13, the Trailblazers roll past MMA. High school soccer, Helias' Braden Remmert scored seven times today. That's a new Helias record and a 10-zip win over Hannibal. Those seven goals, third most all-time in Missouri history in one game. The Jays lose to Rockwood Sub and at the Gateway Tournament in St. Louis, Rockbridge beat Denver East 2-0. Hickman, 1-1 one one on the day, beat Columbia, Illinois, then lost to Collinsville in PKs. That's the first loss of the season for Hickman soccer.
Calgary Lutheran Volleyball, our KRCG 13 Team of the Week, wins the Bell Invitational. Today, the Lady Lions swept Bourbon in the championship matchup. Back to the gridiron, second straight home game for the Lincoln Blue Tigers, hosting McMurray University from Texas. This was ugly early. Caleb Granger takes this one in for the visiting Warhawks. They had a 28 to nothing lead in the opening half. Late in the first half, though, Lincoln coming up with the defense. Kareem Joyner, one of his two interceptions, sets up LU at the five yard line. That would lead to the first touchdown for Lincoln. Owen Jordan, the quarterback sneak, but not enough offense. Blue Tigers lose this one 34 to 14. And the Westminster Blue Jays brought a three game winning streak into the day, welcoming Crown College to Fulton. Second play from scrimmage. Westminster falls behind Brandon McCormick, the Crown quarterback, to Terrell Thomas. He'll take it the distance. Seven zip just like that. It was 14 to nothing at halftime. Westminster better effort in the second half. Latif Adams had 106 yards on the ground. A rushing touchdown. Jack Williams ran in two scores as well. But Westminster, the winning streak ends with a 29-21 loss. 